So hey, my name is Josh High. I'm the designer, and you're in my creative studio. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I started drawing when I was around nine or ten, and it was pretty much something very similar to this, where my dad drew this portrait, and I was just so amazed. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, you know, when you're a kid, you're just <laughs> Wow, you're, you're scratching your head like, what's going on here? So, me being confused and bamboozled, I was like, I gotta do this, but if you can do it, so can I. That was my headspace back in that time, yeah. right? And every day, I would come home and I would just find something to draw. It was uh, something from a magazine or apples or fruits, put them together and just sketch them out and, and really start to just understand but understand from my failures and that was a really cool thing about it yeah. I just didn't understand you know these these are little failures but they were actually little successes when I look back at it and that's where I got to where I am today was continuously drawing being persistent and you know I, I had the faith I didn't know how to use it mm -hmm. because I knew I was gonna get better and that was the faith part so now it's really utilizing this faith, faith to, you know, bundle it into my dreams. To say, you know, these are my dreams, these are my goals, and let's continue to be persistent and work with faith. And, you know, the, a lot of things which I wrote down are coming to pass. And it's really that work ethic and just really the, the faith and the hunger. Mm. I really find you need that hunger to get where you want to go. Yeah. Otherwise you'll become easy on yourself, right? But when you're starving, you really push yourself to, to get what you want. And you know, this is where it's, it's taking me and a lot more places where I don't even know it's gonna go, but yeah. it's gonna be spectacular. I find that everyone noticed it. Oh, wow, okay. My mom, my sisters, you know, my dad, and they're all very encouraging. Nice. But you know, I, I really find that my dad was really, support like he was just out of all of them super excited because yeah. this is something which he wanted to do but then he took a different path mm -hmm. but then seeing it run through his son and seeing his son progress and get better and better to that that day when I was able to exceed him yeah and I remember I remember that day we both sat down and we were drawing stuff and I could see I was, I just nudged ahead of him <laughs> and then after that it just I just kept going and, and he was he was so excited to be he goes you said it you said you could be better than me and now you are Wow, that, you know, that's so. amazing. Because doing these, um, not parents are not always the most supportive when it comes to the arts because we feel like you're not going to be able to make a yeah. living, um, and they they do this with your best interest. Right, right, right. But that that's so crucial that you had a uh, your whole family and especially your father saw the talent, <coughs> excuse me, and encouraged you. To, to see what see where it takes you, so that that's amazing. For sure. Country, maybe. country uh, Jamaica and Panama. Okay. Wow. You know what I mean? So, you know that that Caribbean. You know the Caribbean people, man. Yeah. They just it's mad sure. jokes, man. It's, it's fun. It's always fun, right? So it's I find that, and, and me especially, right? Um, I grew up. I was always just joking around. It's just me. Like okay. I'm, I'm never, I'm never serious. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the work, and yes, the work is. I'm true. doing really great work here, but. At heart, it's, it's me just enjoying what I do and I'm having fun with it. Yeah, and so going back to that childlike mentality, that, that fun factor where children are just so creative in, in their own ways, where it, it questions you to be, how did you come up with that? Where do you, so that's what I like to sort of stay when I'm creating, is stay in that bubble. And I feel for me, that's where the originality comes from. Okay. Where people say I've never seen this done before mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah I said I practice being me I don't <laughs> I don't look at other works and and see this is successful let me copy it to try it's like no 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 I'm gonna go on my path and sure it may take longer I mean I work for now yeah but I keep at it and people start to see you're being yourself you're original mm -hmm. that's a real value and then that's what comes through okay I like that I'm gonna use that line I practice being me a lot a lot of people that might have went over some people. Like, I caught that. <laughs> I mean, uh, a teacher practicing being me. Uh, cool, cool. 
you yeah I was very fortunate I did have um, a few notice what I did and reached out so you know I'm very grateful for that yeah, and, and I appreciate that you know and also one of the reasons sort of why I like doing um, celebrities I have two collections where I call it their story mm -hmm. and so these are iconic figures which as I was growing up they had an impact on, on me where um, like Mary J. Blige, uh, Missy Elliott, right? Especially Missy, she was just so so fun, so funky. Her videos That's, were always creative. Yeah, the outside the box, and I was like, I used to just love to be, Missy has a new video, let's, let's check out the music video, right? So I find that when I, when I remember how I looked at them and how they impacted me, then I'm like, I wanna capture that in, in my story. So it's their story is really my story through my eyes of how they brought that creative aspect in, into my work and, and that's why I like to really put the work together and push it out. So in, in every work that's done, you notice that the technique is similar, mm -hmm. but the feel is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why I like where every piece is, it has a uniformity of the style, but the actual finished piece is just, it's his own soul. Yeah. And that's what I really like capturing yeah, with, with, with the work, yeah. Well, that, that's, that's amazing. I'm sure <coughs> those celebrities and artists that reach out to you are happy with the end result. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah so graphic design um, was just, funny enough, it was, I want to be an animation. Okay. But then I was on the waiting list. And my dad was like, you can't sit down because when, once you come out of school, you sit down, you're gonna lose it. So he's like, you better find something. So I was like, so I saw graphic design. I went to George Brown and, okay. and um, they accepted me just for my art. Nice. They, they saw the skill and they said, yes, you, you, you no problem. <laughs> they go, come on in. So, so on yeah, yeah. But um, going back to self-taught, yeah, it was self-taught. It was, again, my, my dad inspired me and, yeah. and that drive, that passion, that desire was to just get better. Mm -hmm. So I would draw something and look at that work and be like, I could do this better. So then that next work, I'd be drawn by to really focus and make sure maybe it was the eye or so I want to improve that. And then I would say, maybe I could do the notes. So it was those years of looking back to say, do these things. So each drawing was like a note. Okay. And those thousands and thousands and <laughs> thousands of drawings, yeah. you know, took me to where I am right now. Right, so I guess they always have that saying where it's, I don't know, 10 years or 10,000 10, hours, you become a you know, master or whatnot. So I feel like I'm not a master yet. I put the time in, but I'm, I'm still learning. So yeah. I'm still growing. So I say I'm, I'm at a level of, of goodness, but there's, there's always, there's always it's more. It's, more. you gotta keep practicing. Yeah. Like I said, it's, I, I really find people need to appreciate the the struggles and appreciate those those hard times or so mm -hmm. you know hard times make great people right it's it's the easy times make lazy people mm -hmm. so if you have a lot of easy you know yeah. easy times or so you can be a lazy person not all the time a majority of the time that's yeah. that's when it happened right when when you're challenged to those hardships especially for me it makes me think outside the box and be even more creative and say how can i solve this mm -hmm. And it may not be a conventional way, so I, I think and be, ah, I can do it this way. So coming from the arts and, and bring that into my life, mm -hmm. it, it makes life easier because I'm able to think creatively and it, it helps me to surpass and you know, accomplish these, these challenges, which again, then though that issue which I had or so, that challenge, then I can bring it back to my artwork. Mm -hmm. And then it further develops our work as well. So yeah. it's it's really cool how it's like a game of tennis with them. It's, it's back and forth. Yeah. And it's really it's a really fun game. Cool. You know, um, it was one of my things which I was a bit hesitant at first. Why I didn't get on the tab before, to like a just few years back, was because okay. that feeling. Mm -hmm. to say how how is it going to communicate to me? So now with these tablets. I have just a, a drawing tablet, no screen, and it has a bit of a papery texture. So as you draw the, the pen itself, the nibs are so weird and everything. So I get that sort of feedback. Yeah. And so that's 
that helped me with the transition to make it very easy to say I'm getting that communication between the, the medium and the, the applicator or the application <laughs> what I'm what I'm using to create okay. and um, yeah so I, I guess get back to your question which is my favorite it's I do like digital now because just the accessibility to the, the colors and the brushes right then and there mm -hmm. so I can work at a speed which I like whereas on, on canvas I have to slow things down mm -hmm. and so forth so that's that's what I like about it but um again going back to my my finished work is that I like to bring both together because my traditional is like part of my history yeah and then the digital is just for me it's like that that growth mm -hmm. so let's bring the history and growth together and then that becomes present for me cool. and so when when they're created it has that traditional where it's, it's created on the computer then it's printed on you know the the folder -like paper as we we're talking about prior right that's the highest quality you can go with and then i paint on top of that as well and then once i paint on top of it then it gets the further embellishments you know you have the golds the crystals and some of the works have diamonds in it with the resin so it, it adds that texture yeah. of that that canvas where it makes it that much more unique as well mm -hmm. and then those textures they really help to bring out the story mm -hmm. as well to, to a new level and so looking at this you you have this the story this feeling here and then once it's finished and it has all the textures then it goes to another layer of the story mm -hmm. right so it's like here's part one and then this goes over that's part two and then the final is part three right that trilogy of the movie comes together and that's that's really the the, the final storytelling of of my work and that's where that's where i can say <laughs> I'm, I'm finished and look at it and and just take it in uh, sort of like when someone looks at the work i look at the work the same way where i take it in and i know the story behind it but I also let my imagination run to be let's see what it's telling me as well mm -hmm. so the story can change for me just as it can change for each individual viewing the work and from that point you know it's on to the next journey and let's see what i've learned from again that that history yeah. and you know with my growth and then i make that into the present and that's where the creation comes from.